Hey, I'm Donald Bell, and this is Apple's updated iPod Nano for 2011. This is essentially the same design that Apple introduced in 2010, offered in the same seven colors, but with an updated software. If you already have a 2010 model, the software update comes free as an automatic iTunes download. Now, one of the big changes that Apple's made for 2011 is the price, which is down to $129 for 8 gigabytes or $149 for 16 gigs. The touchscreen interface now shows just one icon at a time instead of grouping them together in a grid of four, which makes it easier to operate. Also, the watch feature now has 18 different watch faces to choose from, including a few for the kiddies. But the coolest feature Apple has thrown in here is the full Nike Plus fitness system. Before, you'd have to use a sensor in your shoe and have a Nike connector plugged into the bottom of the iPod, but now all you need is this. The built-in pedometer can track walking and running as two separate features, and when you plug it back into your computer, iTunes will upload all that information to a free Nike Plus account where you can track your progress and set goals. It's a great feature for this kind of gym-friendly MP3 player. Everything else on the Nano is just what you'd expect. You get Apple's outstanding support for music, podcasts, audiobooks, and playlists. The FM radio has this unique live pause feature that lets you temporarily pause and resume live radio. And extras like photos, timers, stopwatches are all nice to have. And of course, let's not forget the clip. The metal clip here on the back makes it easy to take with you, and no matter which way you clip it, you can use two fingers to rotate the screen around. It's also useful to know that a double click on the sleep button will skip to the next track. So that's the updated 2011 iPod Nano, a useful and stylish choice for the gym, though still a little pricey compared to something like the Sandus Sansa line of MP3 players, which can be had for under $50. For CNET.com, I'm Donald Bell.